Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have some updates on the earthquakes and potential eruption that might occur right by or even at the Blue Lagoon. Uh, now, taking a look at what we have here, this is a map of the almost 20,000 earthquakes that have occurred on the Reykjanes Peninsula since the earthquake series started in the region uh, back in October 25th. Uh, huge amount of earthquakes that are going, there's no real signs that it's slowing down. So it's a, uh, yeah, restless night for people in Grindavik. Now we have updated models, and you can see here from the uh, ISI, that estimate the average inflow into the horizontal sort of caverns that are at a depth of about five kilometers on the Reykjanes Peninsula. Uh, they're still filling up, and the average inflow has been estimated about five cubic meters per second of magma. Uh, now we have a wave interpolation, and we have here which was from the period of the October 28th to November 6th, and it confirms continued land rise at Mount Thorbjörn. And this is also shown by, you know, of course, the satellite and GPS data. Now, this waveform image shows almost vertical movement, uh, but also some lateral movement due to crack movements associated with all of the earthquakes and different seismic activity. So this is an update from the Icelandic Meteorological Office. Uh, one thing that I do want to, I noticed in the news today is a working group of engineers and scientists have made an analysis of what kind of infrastructure uh, should be done to protect basically the Blue Lagoon and the PowerPoint. And they've produced proposal for the defenses if there was a you know volcanic eruption in this area. You can see here one of the images that they have shows this giant wall surrounding the power plant and the Blue Lagoon. Uh, unfortunately, the Blue Lagoon's parking lot is not within the boundaries of that. Now, this working group includes representatives from the engineering firms Verkis and Epla, as well as representatives from the University of Iceland and the National Weather Service. It's one of the images that Verkis put in. Here's another one there. Now, one of the scenarios the group worked on was how it, this area could be protected with you know various defenses like these walls due to lava flows. Uh, and they haven't run any lava flow models since you know one of the previous eruptions um, well back in july of this year and they're saying that the reason is that all of the scenarios that they're looking at today they've already run the the models and and all the the lava flow p patterns and things like that uh, so they don't need to do it again kind of a strange uh, a strange comment you could see here the barrier in red that they're sort of planning now these barriers are saying would be about six to eight meters high and would follow the top lines of the landscape north and west of Svartasenge. And in total, they would be about four kilometers long, according to the plan here. Now, the estimated time to build this would be 45 days, which is crazy because the city of Reykjavik and, and Iceland, it seems like uh, they're very slow at construction. But when they put their mind to it, they're saying that they can build four kilometers of defenses for the Blue Lagoon within 45 days. Uh, the cost, astronomical, uh, but they want to save this infrastructure. And they're saying that it would take a lot less time to establish the foundation, uh, and it would be, they're estimating, useful in stopping the lava flow. I'm not sure what you all think of this, but I think, yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's, a, it's a pipe dream. It looks kind of ridiculous. And then uh, they build this, this sort of walled city around the Blue Lagoon. And then what happens? They tear it down afterwards, or they keep it up. It's part of the part of the nature. Uh, I understand saving the power plant, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's better things that we can do with the money than protecting sort of the blue lagoon and this power plant. But let me know what you think. So that's it for the updates. Now, again, building crazy barriers and walls, planning that. Tons of money going to be spent on this. You can see here again the the sort of plan that's out there. Uh, and then, of course, all of the vertical rising and almost 20,000 earthquakes since the series started. So that's all the news for today. Thank you so much for watching and, uh, yeah, keep you updated with uh, the news as it arrives.